Hello and welcome to another X-Ray Tech video. I'm Tom Nasser, the Automation Alchemist, and today I'm gonna quickly show you how to automatically update your Notion database items with Make, formerly known as Integramat. If you'd like to see more workflow automation tips every single week, be sure to subscribe to our channel and turn those notifications on. Now let's get into it. In our example scenario, we're going to automatically update our client's database record every time that there's a new meeting notes doc created for them. This module watches the meeting notes database for new entries. You can check out our previous video for more information about setting up these watch database items modules. Next, we'll add an update database item module. In this field, we need to provide the ID of the parent database. Whenever you need to provide the ID of a Notion database or a database item in Make, you have a couple of options. You can either enter the database ID as a static value, or you can retrieve a dynamic ID from a previous module. The approach you choose will depend entirely on the context of your automation. If you always want to update the same database item, then it's fine to just copy and paste your ID directly from the URL bar. If you want the automation to update different database items, then you'll need to make sure that you can dynamically retrieve that ID in a module before you use it. Using the Watch Database Items module, along with a filter, can be a great way to do that, and we covered that module in a previous video. In our example, we'll be updating the same database item, so we'll just enter a static value. You can find the ID by opening the database in Notion and copying the string of text between your workspace name and question mark V. Then enter the ID of the specific item you want to update. Just open the item as a page in Notion and select the characters after the last hyphen in your record's name. Once you paste that ID into your Notion module, you'll see fields appear for every property in that database. If you leave a property blank, Make will leave that property as is. If you enter data into a property, Make will overwrite the existing data with whatever you entered. Since our latest meeting notes field is a relation, we can enter the ID of the meeting notes doc retrieved in our first module. This will replace the current relation to the last week's meeting notes doc with the relation to this week's meeting notes doc. We'll leave all the other fields blank to leave them as they are. Before we can test the scenario, we just need to add a filter after the trigger module. The filter will make sure that this module only runs for the fake co client. We'll set it so the name of the client's property must be equal to fake co. Now we'll test our scenario. And we can see that the record has been updated. Updating Notion databases with Make is pretty simple. All you need is the right IDs and you can update any record you want automatically. If you've enjoyed this video, like and subscribe for more automation tips every single week. If you'd like to learn more about no code and low code automation, follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, and Facebook, and you can find all of our content on our website at xray.tech. Thank you so much for watching and all of those links are in the description down below. And as always, keep the flow.